Yes, we are live. Hey, guys. Good morning. It's um, the end of May. Uh, we had some technical difficulties this morning, but we are back. And it's the TED Show. I'm Ted Bogert. Um, welcome. And I want you guys to help me welcome Ken Greenberg. Thank you, Ken, for being patient. Good morning. Good morning, Ted. And thank you for having me. I'm excited to have you on. Um, very excited to have you on. And I'm excited to talk about Zenvita, Emerald, um, all the Emerald Organic products, Emerald Shield. Uh, but I'm also very excited to talk about this topic, sensible, sustainable, safe, long-term solutions, which um, you've got a whole story and we're going to share that. So welcome. And let's start with uh, origin story. I think people love to hear a little bit about Ken Greenberg before we take a deep dive into everything else. Perfect. Uh, I, uh, I've been around, you know, quite a while, been here in central Florida since, uh, 1997. Uh, I was, uh, recruited in an executive at Westgate with David Siegel, you know, back in the day. Uh, I've got a long banking background, a long business and entrepreneurial background. Um, I, uh, was with IndyMac Bank. We, uh, had, uh, the residential mortgage operation was heading that back in the day when you couldn't make a mistake and you could uh, get a loan by fogging the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I remember and, those uh, days. Oh, it was, it was, uh, the wild west. I mean, appraisal <laughs> didn't mean anything because, you know, I, I watched properties go up by the day, you know, and sometimes by the hour, by the length of the line, actually, in some cases, <laughs> um, but I've been involved in, uh, in a lot of different things. And uh, most recently, I'm the retired CEO of U.S. Hospitality Group. We build hotels. Uh, the last project uh, is to be a 30-story Hilton dual brand down in uh, Brickell, down in Miami. Wow. Uh, an embassy suite home, too. Uh, we secured the permit. We started from the uh, finding the dirt all the way through the entitlements, all the way through the permitting, and then uh, actually decided I wanted to retire. So I sold out my development rights. Uh, and fortunately, that wire cleared about uh, two weeks before the pandemic hit. <laughs> wow! Otherwise, I might still be the uh, CEO of U.S. Hospitality. <laughs> what made you wanna? What made you wanna retire from that? Well, dude, I'm getting old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I enjoy uh, I enjoyed my life with my family up here in uh, Winter Springs, Florida. I'm a former city commissioner former uh, three-time chairman of the uh, Lighting and Beautification District, uh, two-time vice chair of Parks and Rec. So I've been very involved in my community uh, and, and very much enjoyed that. And uh, last July, you know, to, you know, to bring this uh, more fast forward, let me just get this video out of my eyes. Um, to bring it more fast forward, my son said, Dad, we should look at CBD. I said, well, what is that? You know, <laughs> and he explained to me what the CBD was. And ironically, um, someone came to me with a uh, potential deal for CBD, you know, to uh, get involved in the uh, retail end of it and, uh, and, and what have you. Didn't like the situation, but did like the business. You know, bearing in mind in 2018, it was a $600,000 industry. By 2024, it's supposed to be a, a $400 billion industry. So I said, well, this, this is good. And, um, and, and then uh, put together a team that was unbelievable. My marketing team uh, came from uh, probably the largest in the industry, my head of marketing. Our IT department is second to none. Uh, one of our guys owns an actual studio in Longwood. So we do all our own commercials and do all our own uh, nice. things that you would normally have to pay a lot of money to have done. We're able to uh, get them done internally. And came across and a, a company contacted us because they heard about us and they had some products we were very, very interested in. More specifically, they were in the vending. One of the uh, divisions they had acquired was a vending machine uh, company and they were going to uh, want to put CBD in vending machines, uh, which is effectively, uh, we would call the new version of brick and mortar. That's and, I mean, that's so fascinating. Oh, you have no idea because these machines, which we are now producing, they have facial recognition. Um, therefore, if you, you have to have a driver's license, passport, or government government issued ID tied into global. And if your face does not match the ID, that machine won't work for you. Period. End story. Wow. And 
so he said, you know, listen, I come out of the hotel industry. I kind of know most of the major uh, hotel management companies. And this would be a really good income producing stream and value add for the hotel industry. So right. I said, you know, they said, well, we like what you're doing. We like uh, your IT department and your marketing department is like second to none. I mean, literally second to none. Why don't you consider selling half your company to us and merge into Emerald Organics? Sounds like a good idea to me. Nothing like <laughs> knowing where the front door, the back door is walking in the front door. Um, and Emerald is doing well. And we're, we're about to, uh, in my opinion, uh, experience some very, very tremendous growth because Emerald, not only did they have a full line of vitamins and nutraceuticals and, uh, you know, understand how to get shelf space and everything. But uh, in the last three months, we acquired one of the largest telemed operations in the country follow it up by acquiring the largest digital online uh, pharma that will deliver your drugs, your prescriptions or lifestyle drugs or any of that sort to any house in America within three hours and at wholesale prices. And we do in fact take insurance as well. Marry that with the wellness kiosk. We're now as a uh, subscriber with doctors, we can actually put certain drugs in the machines and give you a code to go down to the lobby and go get them or, or direct you someplace. Wow. Um, you know, so that whole end of it, we tied together and we're working uh, projects now with uh, several of the large municipalities, you know, where they want to use this product, the telemed, the RX and potentially the uh, wellness kiosk, but certainly the telemed and the uh, RX they want to use it as an employee benefit, even those that have insurance, because quite frankly, we could provide a, a real live doctor, not an assistant or someone who wants to be a TV doctor, but a real doctor that can actually see you prescribe and have that drug delivered all within a three hour span. So a lot of cities and a lot of people are either underinsured or no insurance or their co-payments are much higher than what we will be charging the municipalities to, to uh, take care of an individual and or their family up to five. Um, and we're rolling this same program out with some extra bells and whistles across the country, starting in Ohio next week. Uh, and then we'll take it across oh. the whole country. So I have, to, I have many, I have many, many, many questions. And, uh, I, have, and I have many, many answers because I haven't even gotten <laughs> to the solution to open up business yet. <laughs> I want to. Well, I want to ask you: How does somebody make the? You know, because we're always looking for ways for people to make a leap into something that they want to do. And you come, you came from the hotel industry, the hospitality industry, basically building hotels. How do you jump into a business that's that on the surface looks so completely far removed from what you were doing, and are able to turn it into such a success? What did? How did you, what kind of tools did you use? What did you bring with you? Or did you just go, you know what? I'm this old and I just want to do what I want to do. And this looks fascinating to me. You know, those that know me well know that I don't take shots in the dark. Everything I do is very calculated. Uh, you know, on, on, if it's business, I'm not going to waste time unless there's a, a significant income stream, you know, probability, not potential, but probability. Uh, I'm a former investment banker. I was a managing director of several investment banking houses. So there were weeks that I would see a hundred different deals and hope that one of them was worth a darn. Um, <laughs> so I'm used to being able to ferret out a real deal from a, uh, you know, from a, from a, someone's uh, smoking hopium, if you will. Um, you know, so when I saw, I knew I could, you know, we could drive this just as a CBD company. We knew we could drive this just in that alone. But then when uh, Emerald Organics started acquiring, you know, wellness, I mean, really bringing in some significant wellness uh, via the telemed, which, by the way, uh, just uh, last week I was watching CNBC. They predict that to be a five hundred billion dollar industry. So my CBD at twenty four billion doesn't look so bright anymore. <laughs> Being facetious, <laughs> obviously, but we you know, we have you know, we have the whole, if you will, total package. Um, follow it up by the pharma because there are a lot of different telemeds out there. For example, Teladoc is trading somewhere north of $180 a share and they only lose a hundred million dollars a year. We, on the other hand, don't lose money. <laughs> so I don't know what they're doing, but I know what we're doing. What, what's the secret to that, Ken? I've experienced telemed and I think one of the biggest um, obstacles as a patient 
was the doctor was incredibly limited to what <clears throat> they could talk about. Yeah. And so um, I spent my whatever my minimal copay was not a big deal. And then they were basically like, well, we can't really help you. We're not calling it a prescription and you need to go see your doctor. And so there's a uh, you're almost feel defeated and worried when you go into that. Like, is this even worth my time? Uh, right. But I know it's changed. There's different companies. And so oh, it's, it's changed. It's changed dramatically, Ted. And in, in our particular case, the doctors can prescribe and do and then we deliver um and and that really is i guess what the you know the secret sauce is to us is that we have the we've been able to close the loop on that now how did this really you know in our mind because i know you're thinking the question so let me uh you know preempt that question how <laughs> what did you vi what was your vision when you acquired the telemed and the pharma and the vision was i was going back in the hotels truthfully because we deal with a lot of, I'm in Orlando, and uh, our home base, you know, for our company is New York. The only other one that we're left out is Las Vegas, if you think about it, because those are the three hot spots for travel. We bring a lot of, you know, Europeans, especially Brits and Germans, into Orlando. You come here, you get sick. If you're staying out near Disney, you're at Lake Buena Vista, go look at the uh, emergency clinic or the minute clinic, you know, some evening and you see a line down the block, everyone trying to go through there. They have no insurance that's worth anything here because they don't have insurance here. You know, some of those minute clinics and whatever, I mean, my son went in there for nothing. Next thing I know, we got a bill for $1,700 with his insurance. You wow. know, so they're not, they're not exactly a bargain. So our vision was go into the hotels and at low cost to the hotels, not to the people initially, but to the hotels, provide an emerald shield of, you know, providing the telemed, marrying it with the prescription. And this way, if someone from England got sick, they had their own doctor now that they could speak to and they could get their prescription. If little Johnny on holiday, you know, got a bad earache, what do you do? Do you right. kill the vacation? Do you go home? Or do you get it resolved? And that's what we do. We're, we're solutions oriented in that particular case. And they have the security. Now what's happened is we have a whole division that's that's grown. I can't even begin to give you the numbers because it's scary. We're, we're now selling a telemed prescription card overseas through the uh, various uh, travel procurers. And they're selling that so when they come here, they now have the security of a card that's got their telemed and pharma on it should they need it, whether wow. they're in a hotel, an Airbnb, or staying at a friend's house. They now have the ability to talk to a real live doctor and get a solution. Now, having said that, if little Johnny breaks his arm, you're going to the hospital. I can't fix an arm over the phone. I have to figure <laughs> out how to do that. But, Agreed. But just all in all, We've created a solution, and in the larger resorts, we'll place a wellness a wellness kiosk so that they'll have the ability to even get their blood pressure, you know, get their uh, their pulse, and be able to get you know some standard, whether it's a Z pack or something like that. We'll have a whole wellness thing, which, by the way, will also come with our CBD products, our Zenavita products. So you know, let me ask you about the Zenavita. Have you had? I've had a lot of guests on that that. Um, either our proponents or advocates or work in the CBD field. Okay. Have you felt like the barriers have come down as you're dealing with the municipalities, for example? Have the barriers begun to come down? Is it more accepted? Are you still having to jump through hoops because we don't have any real federal regulations in place? Wait, there, there is no hoops and it's legal in all 50 states as long as you have less than 0.03% THC and ours reads as non-detectable. So we don't even have 0.03%. Uh, percent THC. So it's fully legal everywhere. And I, and I got to tell you something. Um, I can't speak for everybody's, you know, because there's a lot of, how do I say it's nicely garbage out there that what's in the bottle is not really, you know, a quality product. Uh, our gummies have won awards for not only best packaging, but also best flavors, you know, especially our watermelon one. Um, I happen to be, in fact, happen to have, you know, here's what our packaging looks like nice. for the Pirita. So it's really nice, and here's here's like the well, these are my favorite. These are the uh, gummy bear ones. There we go. <laughs> you know, they're like the uh, the sour, you know, type like gummy yeah. bear. I, I really really enjoy those. Those look good. 
Well, and our, our bottling is exceptional. Our label is, uh, we switched the name from Pura Vida to Zenavita. And, uh, and as I said, you know, the SEO, Pura Vida, if you ever go on and try to do Pura Vida, you're lucky if you get to page 12, you know, with Costa Rica, everything, <laughs> you know, Pura Vida this, Pura Vida that. So um, on, the CBD, on the CBD line, we converted over to Zenavita, um, you know, then, uh, you know, Zen life, peaceful life, you know, no, I love it. Great. Let name, me ask, great logo. I want to ask you about the sustainability because I don't want to miss that part yeah. of it because I know you, you promoted it too. When you were talking reopenings on everybody's mind, <clears throat> um, sustainability, sense, sensible, safe, uh, long-term solutions, I think is what we have down there. Uh, yes. But I think people don't understand what that means. Well, we haven't even talked about that yet. Yes. So, but I don't think people get, uh, they're out and about and there's either complete, utter social distancing or there's absolutely no social distancing uh, happening at all. And people are having a hard time maneuvering through, which I think is holding people back. Right. So talk about your, your, pers your perspective. Um, and then what do you see as some sustainable, sensible solutions to this? Well, let, let me let me put it to this way. There's a whole lot of, uh, especially in the hotel world and, you know, in the retail world, I've listened to countless uh, workshops from the Central Florida Housing and Lodging, from the American Housing and Lodging, from listening to the mayors uh, down in Orange County, you know, listening to theirs. And how do I say this nicely? They have no clue what they're doing. You got people making decisions that, frankly, don't know what the question is, let alone what the answer is. In in many cases, I'm not trying to be smart or snarky or anything else, but they really don't know solutions. I could tell you several hotel brands, because I deal with the brands. Uh, their solution is well, use Lysol. In the case of the Hilton flag, uh, Lysol's paying them a bloody fortune to brand <laughs> Lysol as the solution. Let me tell you, Lysol is a damn good product. Use it in my house. And it will kill, you know, 99.9% .9 of all the germs when you put it down. And then when it dries, there's nothing left. It's it's whatever's there is now dead, but there's no residual. So what do you do? It every 10 minutes, you got to re-Lysol, which isn't practical, not to mention the fact that you're going to smell like a hospital. So <laughs> what we have is we have a multiple, you know, multiple, you know, combined solution. Number one, we have our uh, disinfectant. Number one, it's odorless. Number two, it's EPA. And in our case, it's also FDA approved for food service. Number three, and here's a big, here's a big defining difference. It's got a 90 day residual in it. In other words, if I apply it, if I put it down, it basically bonds with any dry surface mm -hmm. and basically becomes antimicrobial for up to 90 days. Now, if you're in a high traffic area, I would go back in and probably do it every 30 days for a little application, 60 days. I wouldn't necessarily stretch the limits of 90, but it's rated to last 90 days. So you get, you know, I've listened to these solutions, you know, well, how many people are we going to allow in an elevator? Who's going to push the buttons? Are we going to have somebody, an employee there at $15 an hour or so to press buttons on the floor? Are we going to set the elevators like they do in, in Israel on Saturday that you stop at every single floor up and down? Are those viable solutions? Absolutely not. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Certainly does not. What do you do? In our case, if you take our disinfectant and you rub down the, um, you know, the elevator panel, 90 days, no, no microbials can grow on there. You want to take it one step further, talk about sustainability. We manufacture our own, um, you know, a hand sanitizer, an alcohol base also kills 99 point whatever, because they all do. I mean, alcohol will kill. It's 70% it's more or not. There's, you don't need rocket science to know that. We put a twist. We took the same, um, you know, we're, you know, our solution for the 90 day uh, residual disinfectant. We also have that in a hand sanitizer where it'll last on your hands. Technically, I will tell you 24 hours and unless you aggressively, you know, wash, you know, wash your hands like you're supposed to do, in which case you reapply it. Realistically, you're good for six hours. So the answer is, are gloves good or not? Well, to me, 
you touch something. We were at a restaurant the other night in the car doing pickup because my wife is still of the I am not going inside a restaurant, you know, mode. <laughs> Killing me because I'm a big lunch guy. Me too. Me too. <laughs> so, so anyway, so um, you see them, they're wearing gloves, but they open the doors to go in and out. They're touching everything. Oh. And if you think for some reason that the, these uh, viruses and bacteria and microbes aren't sticking to the glove better than they'll stick to your hand, then you're, you know, you're dreaming. So with our solution, you know, and again, if people want it, fine. If they don't want it, that's fine too. But our hand sanitizer actually has antimicrobial properties to it. So for six hours, nothing can grow on your hand. So now we've talked about two of our six items. Number one, we've got the uh, 90 day, you know, electrostatic. It doesn't even have to hit, uh, that's the other secret. We can do it electrostatic, but it doesn't have to go electrostatic because it bonds and forms a positive ion, you know, uh, event. So I can put it on with a uh, Windex bottle. I could use a regular, you know, uh, you know, like a yard one, or I can use a fogger type of thing, a mister. The answer is it's going to work all three of them ways. And it's going to last for 90 days. So and these got, aren't just for big corporations. Individuals no. can purchase, correct? Well, we haven't gone to the individual residential market because the market is so huge, you know, for getting businesses open and what have you. The answer is if you sprayed your house with it, yes, it's going to work in your house. Yes, it'll work in an apartment. Yes, it'll work anywhere. But we've been focusing on and building sales teams, you know, to go after, you know, the immediate, you know, social issue, which is where you have groupings of people. Most houses, like in my case, we don't have people over in my house anymore while this is going on. <laughs> So, you know, we don't really have an issue of, you know, bringing in the bacteria, the germs. And my wife is very diligent on, my, you know, keeping the counters clean. And every time I walk the dog, go wash your hands. Why? Because <laughs> I said so. We all have that. I said so. You have to listen, Ken. You just have to listen. I do. And I haven't quite got the yes to your thing down perfectly yet. But I'm 64 next month. I'm optimistic by 65. Nice. Years. You look good. <laughs> but but, but anyways, people so, can, like I'm, I'm thinking about the sanitizer in specific because I know I'll have questions about this. Yes. Can somebody can somebody go and purchase the sanitizer um, as an individual or does it have to be through for uh, a company? It's not, it's not a product that we look to sell, you know, as an individual to the house. What we've been doing is we're building crews and uh, we'll have one price. If let's say a, a restaurant or a hotel deep cleans and has been deep cleaning since they've had nothing to do for so long. If they deep clean, we can just go in and spray and that's at a, at a reduced price. If we have to send a crew in to deep clean and then spray, then it's a different price. We have not gone into the residential market at this point, at this okay. time. Um, let me also share- For all share you guys you. asking, that's, that's the answer. Yeah, we have not. Um, we have some other really cool things that, you know, you may want to, uh, well, the last one I'm going to give you is the one that you're really going to have the most attention on. I know it because everyone does. Um, but we also have the same product we've been able to, or the, you know, the, uh, the, uh, manufacturer has been able to, uh, play with. And we now have the ability to add, I believe it's four ounces in a laundry load, especially in a commercial laundry load and no microbials can grow on sheets, towels, pillowcases, bedspreads for 50 washings. Wow. So now I'll tell you, having owned hotels and been around hotels and what have you, they always wash the sheets, they always wash the pillowcases, they always wash the towels and the washcloths. Rarely does every time a guest goes in and out, does somebody wash the bedspread or the blanket that was in the closet that you pulled down. So in this particular case, Ooh. if they did wash it, and no antimicrobials. And, and by the way, a byproduct of the uh, you know ninety day uh, disinfectant, which is really cool, the uh, because of the electrocharging, it actually sterilizes. Let's say, God forbid, you have bed bugs or some infestation, it sterilizes them. It's not a uh, it's not an extermination, so it's not going to kill them. But when a bed bug that lives for thirty five to forty five days has lived its life course. All the exit lays can never hatch because they're not they're, they're not sterilized. Oh, so it's a way amazing. to end an infestation, just as a oh by the way. So 
We also have a clean air solution that goes inside of the uh, air handler, inside of, you know, the, you know, there where the vents are and what have you. It's not your standard UV uh, mister type of thing. It's a much more advanced technology. Tomorrow, one of these units is going for a ride all the way up to the International Space Station and the aircraft going up is that good. It's used wow. uh, over in, in uh in uh, Asia and Europe and whatever, it's, it's almost become a mainstay in the hospitals, including for their you know surgical units. Um, we have uh, partnered with, and we're going to be the uh, exclusive manufacturer, not manufacturer, exclusive di distributor for that. And, and in fact, my wife, I was asking again, please, can we go to a restaurant just yesterday? And she went and read an article <laughs> that said, and, and, and I'm not uh, misquoting this, she said, well, restaurants, turns out, may not be the safest place because the, you know, the, the, the bacteria and the viruses and all are in the air that's circulated. They may clean the tables, but it's still in the air. Our solution, our clean air, you know, HVAC insert, um, removes everything from the air as well. Works for a hospital, sure as heck will work for a restaurant or a retail store or something like that. And hospitals are typically a lot bigger than any store you're going to be walking into. Right. Um, but but here's the uh, here's the Mac Daddy that you're going to like and you're going to have the most questions on. We have uh, become the uh, exclusive distributor of a disinfecting tunnel, and what it is, it comes in three models. But the one that's going to be the most you know widely used, you know, for standard use, will be about four and a half feet wide by six foot wide. You put it at the entrance, inside or outside, preferably inside. And you walk through it for a total of five seconds is the whole process. It administers a hand sanitizer. It will take your temperature and you get a light misting of an antimicrobial, you know, a, a product that basically will kill any germs, bacteria or viruses that are on your body, on your clothes, your shoes or whatever. It's a very wow. light misting. You don't walk out wet. You know, it's not like, you know, you're taking a shower going through <laughs> In, in fact, the misters are very similar. Ever sit on a patio and, um, you know, sit under, the, you know, it's a hot day and they got the fans blowing the misters and you can sit yeah. under that. You're not walking away wet by any stretch of right. any imagination. You know, you, you feel a light mist. Well, that's what this is. And it's that, you know, we're not reinventing technology on misters. Um, we just created the application for hand sanitizer, taking your temperature, and and disinfecting you so when you walk in now if somebody walks in sick and coughs on somebody you're getting sick <laughs> right. or at least potentially right. i can't we, we can't cure something Will your wife like feel better if, if she walks through one of those at a restaurant I, I, i'm optimistic she'll feel better um <laughs> you know i'm not putting one at the front door <laughs> I, i'm surprised i was going to ask you that next is there one at the front door there's got to be <laughs> well, you know, front door of a restaurant, front door of a retail store. Um, we have that's a single model. We have a model that's made out of, believe it or not, you know, the big ones are made out of actual containers. Um, we have a 20 foot model and we have a 40 foot model. So if uh, if uh, some of our wise decision makers decide that maybe kids should go through that, you know, funnel through a single entry, you know, to go to a school or something like that. You know, on the 40 foot model, we can, you know, at five seconds a pop. So we say 10 seconds by the time someone goes in and someone goes out do right. six a minute. So we can process, you know, quite a quite a lot of people, um, you know, through, you know, through the big tunnels uh, for stadiums and everything. And we are talking and we're at the inner circle right now. of One of the major sports leagues that has an extreme interest in this. And we're also wow. talking individual to some of the uh, other sports, major sports. Um, uh, team specific. One is the whole league. The other one is team, you know, sports teams. And I said, well, maybe Anything that we can do to get back to the normal will be, or whatever the normal looks like. And I, I have to wrap us up. So tell me how people can reach out. If you have five, a restaurant tour, a hotel person, uh, in charge, of course, um, somebody who's interested in what you shared, uh, and then on the CBD side, how, what's the best way for people to look you up and look up all the wonderful things you're doing? Well, there's there's, there's uh, actually two ways. On the you know sustainable it, items we talked about, from the tunnels to the disinfectant to all that, the hand sanitizers and all. Uh, if you go to emeraldshield.com, 
our contact information is there or on the contact page if you put your contact well you know through our phone tree we'll, you'll get you know responded to rapidly for the cbd products it's zenavita z-e-n-a-v-i-t-a dot com zenavita dot com same thing there's phone numbers there or if you put your contact if you're looking to be a home-based business and want to distribute zenavita products we are we are you know fully prepared uh to handle that we have the whole back end built and ready to uh, you know work on wholesale accounts we actually have a business in a box where for about ten thousand dollars you're getting thirty thousand dollars worth of products in one box with all the main you know products that uh that you would possibly need um so again totally solutions right. so emerald shield and zenavita emeraldshield.com and zenavita.com yes sir all right. You've been a joy, Ken. Thank you so much. That was fascinating. I have lots of groups I'm going to share this show with because I think they'll all be fascinated by well, thank this. You. Thank you, my friend. Well, thank for you coming so very on. much. I appreciate you know, the opportunity to spend so the good. morning. I hope you and your wife get out soon. Well, one of us <laughs> is going to go out soon. <laughs> <laughs> all yes, right, guys. Dear. We'll see you. Thank you so much, Ken. <laughs> all righty. Take care, Ted. See you.